I have always loved the Studio Ghibli movies, especially Castle in the Sky, as you can see here from this painting I did years ago. First of all, I grabbed a milk jug, a bottle, some things to cut with, and let's get started. Here I have constructed uh, one of the little buildings out of uh, the bottle. It's going to go on top of my big castle. And I quite often start with little things like this if I'm going to be doing a big project. This is because I have perfectionism. And perfectionism means I feel like I can't start anything unless it's going to be perfect. Unless I know it's going to be perfect. Or unless there's a deadline coming up. Now I'm just doing this for fun, for my own enjoyment, just so I can have it and say that I've done it. Um, so there, there's no deadline, just my will to do something, and I don't have very much will sometimes. So starting with something like this little um, tiny building on the top is actually very helpful for me, because once I've made this, then I can move on to bigger things. Now, there are only a few um, shots of the whole entire floating castle from Castle in the Sky, and that was probably because it was a very intricate thing that was rather difficult to um, animate a wide shot of, and you're so far away that you can't really see what the buildings look like. So I'm just sort of making them up as I go. The reason I chose um, this bottle to make this building is because the roof it has a built-in roof texture from the texture of the bottle which really comes in handy so all i have to do is um, finish painting this add another coat of white underneath to make it not so translucent and add some details paint the roof a reddish brown and uh, we'll be good to go with this um but while this is drying I am going to start working on the main structure. So I have these two pieces that I cut from two separate uh, milk jugs that I am going to then glue together to become our bottom dome structure. Um, it won't be perfectly strong or perfectly round, but I can build upon that with uh, inner supports and outer pieces of cardboard to create that ribbed looking uh, dome structure at the bottom that we see. Um, I love using things like this that would otherwise go in, in a landfill or something. It's recycling and it's creative to try and figure out what you can do with it. I'm also using this bottom of the milk jug to create the top of our dome. This is what everything is going to rest upon. All of the little buildings and shrubbery is going to rest upon that. Here we have my lovely milk bottle structure. So it has some inner supports on the inside that you can sort of see right here. It's a cross section of cardboard that makes this quite strong and durable. And I just patched up the hole at the bottom with the milk cap and a lot of glue. And this will be the inside bones or the skeleton of our entire structure. Now we can see here from my picture that there are three different levels. One, two, three different levels to my building. And I will be building off of my milk bottle structure to create those. They'll be sort of like big bands around the top leading up to my lovely little buildings right at the top that are just sort of muddled together there. Um, so yeah. I will be building off the structure that I just created. Here we are back with our building and I'm just painting the bottom a sort of beige off-white color 
uh, to go with how the buildings look in the movie. And uh, this isn't going to be perfect. I'm just using a basic acrylic and I did that for the base coat as well. And all I did to really make it stick very well to the plastic was I roughed it up a bit with sandpaper and I will seal it as well after I am done with the sealant. And I'm mostly, for the most part, self-taught with these sorts of things. I don't particularly know what I'm doing and some things might not work out, but we will learn as we go. And that's the fun of it. So here I am just going in with this lovely reddish brown color for the roof and it may need a couple of coats and I'll probably uh, dry brush it with a lighter color on top to give it some texture. And uh, I'm always excited whenever I get to paint anything. It is my one true love in the art world and it is my concentration in my art major at school and it's just a really fun time. You get to experiment with color and all sorts of things. When making these types of crafts, I would usually recommend uh, using not craft paint, like the, li the little uh, craft paints that come in the bottles. I recommend using some actual acrylics like Liquitex or something because they have like a shinier finish to them and they don't flake off as easily. That's just my opinion. You can use the cheaper craft paint, but I think that this type of paint works better for these types of things. And if you want it to be matte, you can use a matte spray on it. Um, I just find that they don't flake off, they they're spread very easily, and they cover very easily, and they're just meant to last for a long time and get into all the nooks and crannies of an art piece. Here's where I'm at at the end of the day with my little structure and as you can see I painted some details on it and made it look sort of old and weathered and I will pick this up again another day. Thanks for following along with me and um, keep on following along to see the progress of my castle in the sky.